Hello, welcome to Monday Morning Matters live broadcast show brought to you by MagnaCraft Consulting Team, anchored by Niyi Dumade, a certified church consultant with the Society for Church Consulting in the U.S. Here, each Monday of every week, we address important, relevant, and actionable topics of interest that will help you and your church grow healthier. And now, meet your host, Niyi Dumade. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to my space. Um, this is Monday Morning Matter. I'm Ni Dumade, founder, CEO, Magnicrad Consulting. We have started this series on how to engage a church consultant. We have the part one and part two of this series of the last Monday Morning Matters for the month of May 2022. This program has been going on for over three years and uh, quite a lot of videos that we have done for church leaders especially so that you can be able to move your church from where it is right now to where God wants it to be. So you're welcome to this um, broker show again. You are welcome to this broker show and I'm so glad that you are part of this show, this live broker show. Now, um, I also want to tell you that um, MagniCraft, what MagniCraft stands for, MagniCraft is a church consulting firm that helps churches grow healthier through empirical assessment, trainings, and strategic blueprint. I'm also a certified church consultant with the Society for Church Consulting in the U.S. I'm also your host to the weekly Facebook live broadcast show on Mondays, uh, 7 a.m. Nigerian time or West African time. So I'm your church health guardian. I'm the Church Health Guardian of the 21st century. And also, I want to thank everyone for sharing, commenting, liking our post, uh, telling us uh, how timely our post is. I'm so grateful uh, for those feedbacks. Let us have your feedbacks from, from where you are talking, uh, hearing, um, listening to us from. Now, we're going to continue on how to engage a church consultant. I've actually engaged quite a good number of churches um, in Nigeria. Uh, and then I, I've just say do, I have to do this series so that it, it will help because I know that most church consultants usually have a challenge from the problem, uh, from the uh, concept of engagement. Consultants will always want to provide insight to problems that are holding the church back from accomplishing its vision, its mission, its objectives, and their goals. But the thing is that a consultant, if he does not engage well with the church, is, will not be able to provide accurate and efficient insight to the problems uh, that exist. So um, that's why I want to just discuss on how to engage a church consultant. First thing I'll say in this third series is that you have to be, be ensure that you are engaging a church consultant who has a generalistic perspective. Okay, though we know that there is a need for us to um, narrow down on specialization. But you see, what you are calling as uh, a specific issue or problem might just be a, a symptom of a larger problem that your church has. And so, it's better you start from a generalistic perspective and that, that for how you engage a church consultant must be that it must be from that general, generalistic perspective and then you begin to narrow down on specific. So we can, we can, we can look, look at um, a general view of a church health framework because that's one of the things that uh, a, a church consultant needs to, you should have your basis, your, your framework at which to assess churches. And see, the thing is that you, the generalist perspective must be there so that you'll be able to look at all these things and begin to spell out the strength and the weaknesses of the church. Okay, so that you, you now begin to specialize and narrow down on the areas that needs focus on. So um, you, you have to check uh, for, for, for you to engage a church consultant properly. You have to be able to um, look at um, the areas of experience, education, training, 
credibility, integrity, certification, and testimonials, okay? So like me, I have a double certification in church consulting from Church Consulting University and Society for Church Consulting. And so I, I, we have seen a lot of people who are out there because of the experience that they are church consultant good, but let us look at all these variables and areas before you engage a church consultant. And make sure that the person has some good experience. Make sure the person has some good education, some good testimonials, trainings, credibility, integrity, and some certifications. Okay, um, I want to also say here in glossing that churches should stop using business consultant. Business consultants have a different set of tools that is useful for um, the is useful for the business world, but the church is actually a special kind of organization. And so, using organizational developments that are so uh, that are that are developed and used for businesses for churches is just not going to give you the uh, ideal diagnosis of what is going on in your church. Because the church is not going to be celebrating profit or to their shareholders. You see, the end of the day is how many souls have you saved? How many souls have you discipled? So, but the thing is that before you engage a church consultant, church leaders and the church must be aware and be willing, and be willing to open up for help, for consulting help. You see, I've seen where churches who are engaging church consultants, but they don't want to open up. They don't want to open up. Uh, you know, it's easier said than done. Uh, you can see some pastors here, I'm ready to open up. Um, for, for church consultations, but when it's the real time for you to open up, you find out that there are some hidden areas that they don't want to expose out because a church consultant will ask you a question that even your church members will not be able to ask you. We're going to probe and go to uh, 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 fi make findings of the reasons, the whys behind the things. And so for, for church consultants, we, we, we don't usually get so carried away by symptoms because dealing with the symptoms is not like dealing with the disease. But dealing with the disease, we also deal with the symptoms. So church leaders must be open, must be, must be willing and I must create that awareness and be willing to open up for help. Truth told is pays more than truth that is hidden. Truth that is told is it pays more than truth that is hidden. Because when you hear the truth, even when you don't agree with the truth, but because you are hearing the truth and you keep hearing the truth, there's a way that the truth is going to help you. And, and, and of course, if you begin to work on hearing and working on the truth, it's going to get to a point where it's going to set your church free. So make sure that when you are opening up, allow the church consultant to gather the information he needs so that there can be proper analysis of the facts and data efficiently. You see, you don't know that this information is useful for your solution. And so, but the consultant knows the information and the data that is going to be useful for proper data. Because if you have garbage in, it's garbage out. If you give a wrong information or, or garbage data, there's no how you'll be able to diagnose the problem. And you see, once you are able to get the root cause of a problem, uh, I mean the disease, then you are able to actually solve a lot of problems in your church. So talk to your leadership. Before you take that decision, I know you as a set man, you know that your church needs help, but you, you are not the, the, the entire church. You are the set man of the church, but you are not the complete. You, you might be speaking on behalf of the church, but you cannot just take some certain decisions because by the time you take a decision to engage a church consultant and then the church consultant is trying to make some findings in the church, there will be resistance because they were not uh, carried along in the engagement process, the onboarding process of a church consultant. You see, one, and another thing is most people always have, most church um, workers and, and, and um, staff are always afraid of, because we're going to open up a lot of things. And you see, when you have some cancer serious issues in the church, it's better you open up and then begin to redress from there and to be, begin to um, sweep things under the carpet. So discuss with your leadership. Discuss with your leadership why all your leadership, your departmental leaders, your pastors, your ministers, your deacons, your board of trustees, they have to be able to support you in this decision to engage and seek help from a church consultant. Discuss with the scope widely. Discuss the budget. Discuss the expertise needed. The things you need to be, get addressed. The deliverables 
of the consulting engagement. One of the things that I will say quickly is that because the, uh, the church consultant has the ability to frame complex problems, he needs a lot of information to be able to create a good church diagnosis and design um, in, 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 for your church. And so that, frame, that framing of a comp the complex problem needs to be well spelled out from a church consultant perspective. Let's don't hide issues. Let's don't sweep things under the carpet. I've seen churches who have consulted for and they swept a lot of things under the carpet and two, three years, the same thing that they swept under the carpet became so serious. You see, when you see an issue that needs to be addressed, it's better for you to address it right now because that thing, if it's not addressed, it's going to mutate into something that will take you more, more effort in the future to address. So any issue you fail to, to deal with, any issue you fail to address, any issue you try to ignore, will definitely deal with your church severely in the future. And I can tell you that your future, the future of your church is more real than what you are experiencing today. The future of your church is more real than the future, than the, than the, than the, than the, presence, the present state of your church and the past that your church has experienced. So we need to make sure, uh, engage a church consultant so that the church consultant can help to craft creative and practicable solutions. Okay, we know what works. We know what does not work. Because the thing is that what works for church A might not work for church B because of their size or their location or their, their DNA or their vision framework. So we know what works and sometimes we need to understand that the creative and the practical solutions we are talking about has to be contingent for a specific church. It's not something that you can just take and then begin to generalize for all churches. Okay? And then the, the, as you engage a church consultant, let's see how you are able to syndicate support and mobilization and proper adequate coaching for compliance. One of the things I will say quickly is that when a church consultant comes, is, is, is going to come to your church to help you become better. Okay, bring out your vitality, bring out your results, the, the, the good results for you, and things like that. One of the things that I, I know a church consultant, as he engages, is that he's going to find ways at which to help you revitalize. Because the thing is that a church can, it's a, the church will find it um, very difficult to um, revitalize on his own. You know, he, he, we, we, it's not like when somebody is sick and then the person who is sick wants to now heal the, self, himself. Even when the person is a doctor, there's, there, are kind, there are some things that you have to open up to another uh, doctor to help even, even when you know that you are a doctor. All right? And sometimes, they, I've said it in the last uh, two Mondays, there's, 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 um, there's wisdom in seeking outside eyes there's wisdom in getting professional of an professional and objective uh, perspective to what your church is going and the thing is that if you if you use a consultant um you can you can fac facilitate the revitalization process that your church needs okay one of the things is that when you don't engage a church consultant there will be uh, all kinds of open uh, 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 open resistance, okay, um, to what is going on in your church. But the church consultant is not involved in the politics of your church, and so as you engage, the church consultant is going to help you um, navigate um, all the intricacies of change. Because one of one of the things that growth brings is that it brings about change. You can't be doing something that you did in the past that brought you to where you are and you want to repeat that change to get you to the future. And so we need to make sure that uh, you engage a church consultant and, and let them give you a, uh, a report of all their findings. You are, you, are, you are going to give, you are going to do a lot of surveys, a lot of assessment, a lot of uh, fact-finding mission. Um, they're going to do a lot of... Um, 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 diagnosis, and so they need to get you a report that you need to use as a reference tool in the future to navigate yourself into the future. And so, uh, in my book, Church Retention, will be helpful at this point because I did a, a survey for almost 600 pastors, and I can tell you that 
um, the, the, the way especially Nigerian churches because most all these responders of that survey are Nigerian pastors they, they we need to have a budget for church consultation you need to have um, a, 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 a space in your calendar to seek outside help to seek outside help in your church and so we need to make sure that that get my book or on church retention pathway to growth it's going to help your church uh, very 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 um, good each church consultant is different and so you need to know the the the, the kind the, what the what the church consultant is bringing on board and you need to identify which consultant has the experience that will work with your specific kind of church and is also familiar or with the kinds of challenges you have faced okay and all the kind of as he dealt with those the challenges you are facing from other churches i mean you need to find out the proofs what are the things has it done for other churches that has um, helped um, your 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 that, that will now help your church you have someone with years of experience okay you need to find someone with years of experience and is interested in in also trying to help you uh, as a church so uh, there are many ways at which you in terms of education, experience, training, certification, um, and also um, and also um, uh, trainings of, of all kinds as regards uh, church um, consultations. There's a, a, a discount from Church uh, Answers, church, uh, church Consultation University, um, for all um, pastors in Africa. Please, I know it's a bit um, turbulent times for us in our world today but you need adequate training for you to be able to help a church okay and so church consultation university is such a awesome curriculum and you can do it at your pace you can make payment at your pace and there's a lot of discount over uh, over 40 percent discount for anyone please reach out to me if you want to get yourself hooked up with uh, church consultation university uh, Tom, Tom Rena was so so a uh, great man um, nice man was able to do that discount and so you need to uh, if we need to have um, yourself certified as a church consultant just reach out to me I want to wrap it up today we can do that in 20 minutes but before then make sure that you have your, your church because church consultants have different backgrounds you need to find out if the if the background of this church I mean the belief system the the, the doctrinal values um, the faith values of this church consultant background does it work or align and blend with your church you see if they are not working together there's no how that help will come to fusion in your church so um let's make sure that you do a lot of talk you know do a lot of conversation so that you know where both uh, both the church and the church consultant are actually collaborating and engaging and know where they are making their commitment to advance your church forward. I need to stop here. Thank you. Please go to my Facebook um, um, Facebook channel. I've done part one, two, and three. Uh, make sure you go there. There are quite a lot of videos in my Facebook um, channel, Twitter. Um, um, follow us on um, Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Most of it, where my where my, my my effort is, is on the YouTube and it's on the Facebook. Please go on the YouTube, and then you will get quite a lot of videos in there. All right, a lot of videos in there. Um, one of the things I will say quickly is that if this video has been useful to you, give us a thumbs up. Go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, so that when we upload a new video. Uh, you'll be notified. So you have any church-related questions, inquiries, you want us to come and help your church, let's discuss your budget, let's discuss the scope, and let's see how we're going to help your church move on forward. You have any question, please feel free to hook up with us and we'll be able to answer you. Answer you. Please, we do consultations, we do trainings, we do revitalizations, we do strategy planning. Reach out to us and we can help your church. Till I come your way next week, Monday, with a part four, of how to engage um, a church consultant. I say bye-bye, I love you, and God bless you.